a fault. Lord, I need help. Lord, I need help. There are so many examples in our society of people needing help. And I am convinced that the best source of our help comes from the Lord. One can go to their doctor, their lawyers, their fortune tellers, <laughs> their suit sales in the same neighborhood, Amen. their politicians or whosoever to find help. Amen. But in most occasions, our help comes from the Lord. The psalmist understood this. Most believe that this psalm were penned by King David during the time that he was on the run from his son, Absalom. Just in case there are some scholars in our hearing audience, others say it could have been King Hezekiah during the time that Jerusalem was under attack. But whoever pinned this song did it for you and I on this day, as well as any and everyone else that is going through situation of hurts and pains. I'm just going to ask the question quickly. Do you need any help in your life today? Do you need a God to come in and work out any situation that you are going through? I say to you, Call on the name of the Lord and he will bring us through. I, 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 I wrestled with coming from Psalm 119 uh, today because that psalm basically deals with the word of God. It tells us of, about all of the power of the word of God. But the Lord says, no, so let them know that I am able to help them. Amen. Do you need help? Do you need God help? And it says, vindicate me, O God and defend my cause against an ungodly people from the deceitful and unjust man and deliver me. We know that there are unjust people. We haven't seen so much injustice going on in our world since the time of 
Dr. King and the marches for voting rights. But it has come back again. Ungodly people in our world, from the White House to the Alley House, they are ungodly people. And we have to ask the Lord. And that second thought in the second verse said, I need God's strength. For you are the God of my strength. Amplified Bible. My strong home, home in whom I take refuge. Why have you cast me off? Why go? I mourning because of the oppression of my enemy. Have you ever been in a situation and you are hurting in pain or you've been sick or you needed finances and you could not see finances coming from anywhere? You, had, you have done everything you knew to do. You have prayed and called on the name of the Lord and the finance have not come or you have been weak and needed strength and it didn't come. The scripture tells us to just hold on because old folks used to say he may not come when you want him, but he'll always be on time. Let me hurry on. I need God's guidance. I hope this is not too simple for you. Third verse. Oh, send out your light and your truth, let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. David, all he could see was darkness. He did not know how to get from one place to the other. The enemy is on his trail, but he knew that he served a God that could bring forth light in his life. Oh God, hallelujah. The Lord is my light in my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord has a light, and that light come through the word of God. If we just follow the word of God, follow the truth of God, and he will lead us out of the darkness. Excuse me, I'm, 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 I'm getting happy now because I know that there have been situations in, 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 in my life. Dorothy and I family have been doing fairly well for the last several years, but there have been darkness in our lives. But have it caused repossess, foreclosures on the home, not having funds to feed the children. But God was able to lead us through those dark hours into his marvelous light. That's what David is talking about. Sometimes you are not going to be able to see it 
with your own eye, but he plants it in the eye of your spirit that you may be able to see how to get out, get to come into the bright light of God. Oh, glory to God. Next thought comes from verse three and four. I need God's presence. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, send out your light yes, yes, yes. and your truth. Mm -hmm. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Then will I go to the altar of God, to God, my exceeding joy. Yes, with the Lara will I praise you, O oh God, my God. Oh, David is getting to the point now that, that he is going to show enough pray, praise the Lord. I, I, I know y'all y'all ain't listen, used to them country words, but I've shown enough going to praise God. Daddy used to say that to me. Boy, you ought to show enough go back and tell such and such thank you because he has bought you from a mighty long way. Then I will go to the altar of God. To God, my exceeding joy. Yes, with the Lara will I praise you. Oh God, my God. I, I, I don't see a whole lot of praise anymore in the church. Oh, we got some hand raising. Oh, but when I was a boy, And the preacher started preaching or the choir started singing. And sister so-and-so and brother so-and-so would begin to praise the Lord. They would begin to dance all around the church. Some of them would get up and run thanking Almighty God for his goodness and his mercy. Oh, we don't have to do all of that to praise the Lord. But every now and then, when the Lord brings us through, when the Lord put food on our table, when the Lord put money in our bank account, when the Lord brings our children back home, when the Lord heals our body, and yes, even sometimes when, when one of the loved ones is suffering and they can't make it on this side and they are a child of God, God takes them out of the suffering and bring them on home to him. I tell you that when we get in the presence of God, we ought to just lift up holy hands and praise him. Just praise him. Glorify his holy and his righteous name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I was almost ready to end there, but the fifth verse just waved at me and said, you got to say something about me. Say, you got to say something about me because the psalmist tells us in that, in, 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 in that fifth verse that I need God encouragement. Oh, glory to God. Why are you cast down, oh, my inner self? And why should you mourn over me and be disquiet within me? Hope in God and wait expected, expectantly for him. For I shall yet praise him who is the help 
of my sad countenance. And my God, who is the help? The help is my God. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad yeah. that God is my help. Yes, yes. And as I look back yeah. through the words of God, you, God. he just let me know not only with David, for with David he was in the valley of the shadows of death. But he did not fear any evil because the Lord led him through the valley. And then with the prophets, we see the Lord working in their lives. Sometimes they didn't know how they were going to make it, but God brought them through. Glory to the Most High God. But the Lord laid my mind on old Paul in Silas. They had been, been put in jail, but the Bible says at midnight they began to pray and called on the name of the Lord. And the Bible tells me that when they were singing and praying, God sent his spirit down into the jail and unlocked the chains that was keeping them in. Glory to God. I tell you that we have a God that will bring us out. And just how like he took the chains off of Paul and Silas, he will take the chains off you and I. He will open doors for us. He will set us free. I'm closing now with the soul song. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest faith, but holy lean on Jesus' name. When darkness veil his lovely face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor hold within the veil. Let me bring it in now. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I tell you that my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness and on Christ. On Christ. On Christ. The solid rock I stand. All level ground is seeking stand. All level ground is seeking stand. Are you standing on Christ? Are you holding on to him? If you need help today, he will, he will, he will, he will bring you through. He'll open doors for you. Glory, glory. My brothers and sisters, again, there's a lot going on in our world. Stress, heartaches, pains every day. Deaths, sickness, but we have a Savior. That will get us through. Yes, you might mm. Thank you, God. go to health professionals, and that's good. I believe in health professionals. But don't leave out mm. one thing mm. that all of us need. 
we need help from the Lord. He can and he will bring us through. He will bring us through. I pray that as you said in the virtual audience and those that are within the building, if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Savior, you should take the opportunity right now to accept him within your heart. Romans tells us that if you would confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. There are many other passages in the Bible that talks about salvation. Jesus just wants us to accept him. And at that moment, we are saved. You don't have to fill out an application. You don't have to go through classes. All you need to be saved to be saved mm -hmm. is to accept Jesus Christ, yes. to believe that he was in the beginning with God, mm -hmm. yes. believe that he was born of a virgin, believe that he grew, that he taught, that he paid the ultimate price for our sins on the cross. Mm -hmm. That's the reason that we can be saved because Jesus has already paid the price yes, for our sins. Right. All we have to do is That's accept right. them, accept him, right. accept him. Mm -hmm. That's all we have to do is accept him. Mm -hmm. Because on the third day morning, right. he got up. Yes, he, did. he destroyed death. Mm -hmm of damnation when he got up and now he is in glory interceding for us if you accepted Christ some years ago some days ago but you have turned away it's easy to come back just say Lord forgive me and he will forgive you at that moment I'm going to preach soon on forgiveness. I don't know when, but it's going to be soon. And then the next thing is, if you don't have a church home, we will accept you at Antioch. Just give us evidence of your salvation, of your church affiliation, but you want to join with us. We will accept you based on the word of God. Amen. 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 Amen.